In today's Leeds news, FA Cup draw, Gelhart a target, Leeds interested in centre-back, interest in Chris Meffin, and Rodrigo opens up on Leeds exit. Hi folks, Jer here on Tuesday the 9th of January with your Legion United News. Just a little bit of an announcement. If you can hear any kind of rumbling and noise in the background, there is currently somebody with a jackhammer outside my house. So, have to work through this. I don't think it'd be too bad, but if you do hear a rumbling, that's what it is. Okay, uh, we'll crack on, we'll get into the news. We'll start off with the FA Cup draw and Leeds have finally been drawn at home in the FA Cup after 14 <laughs> draws away from home. Leeds have been drawn at home to fellow championship team Plymouth Argyle in the fourth round of the FA Cup. The tie will take place the weekend of Saturday the 27th of January as well. I'm sure ticket information will be out around that pretty soon as well. You can keep an eye out for that at Leeds website for that. Uh, moving on, let's talk about potential outgoings and we'll start off with Joe Gellhart. Gellhart has had a very tricky start this season out of form and injured from both most of this season which has really curtailed his opportunity to get into the Leeds team according to Alan Nixon now he is claiming that Plymouth Argyle are said to be interested in a loan move for Joe Gellhart he goes on to say that um, Leeds would consider this option as they don't consider Argyle to be a promotion rival and that Leeds have got bigger interest in the player but that they are being selective about where he goes as to not impact them too much. Uh, there are bigger clubs, as I mentioned. Celtic and Rangers have also said to be very interested in bringing Joe in on loan as well, which would take him away from the Championship. I think a move to Scotland would be a very good move for Gellhart. Uh, slightly lower level, but would give him a chance to play big games as well and build up his confidence there, which I'd love to see. Uh, according, again, moving back to Nixon, Nixon said that the only thing that's standing in the way of this move going through to Plymouth is the potential wages that Joe Gellhart is on. He's on quite a high salary Championship wise and that there would need to be a sponsored loan for Plymouth to be able to get the player in now he also finishes off by saying Plymouth are currently actively working on that sponsor and are keen to bring Gellhart in at the moment they may have freed up some wages with uh, Finn Aziz heading, heading away from the club in this window as well which will give them an opportunity for a number 10 could be Gellhart could fit that mold perfectly for them there as well be great to see Joffy get out get some minutes get his confidence back get his form back and just work through all these little niggly injuries that he's had over the last couple of months that really have stopped him getting any kind of game time you would have assumed that the cup match against Peterborough would be an obvious opportunity for him to get some game time but then he gets injured in the build up to that again and misses out on that opportunity so he's not had a great run of it this year he's been unlucky for a lot of this season Galhart but hopefully this is just part of the growing pains and that uh, this will be behind him soon enough and he can focus on his football career again um, Celtic and Rangers as I said are very interested in the player wants to keep an eye on as an Irish person I'd love to see him go to Celtic I'm sure there's lots of Leeds fans that would like to see him go to Rangers it's just the way it is um, but I think he'd do very well at Celtic you know probably win a title while he's up there as well so there you go little dig anyway uh, let's move on to potential incomings and it is very quiet at the moment on the ground in terms of incomings and these next two are going to surprise you a little bit but Leeds have been uh, linked with a possible move for centre backs and the first one according to Phil Hay who was speaking on the square ball recently he said that Leeds United had a serious interest in Nottingham Forest centre back Neko Williams Neko Williams did sign for Nottingham Forest not that long ago for £16 million and um, has seen himself pretty much out of favour under Steve Cooper and in this piece Phil Hay basically says that a possibility of a loan move for Neko Williams would have been something that Leeds could have got done prior to their management change at Nottingham Forest. Since Nuno Espirito Santo has come on, Neko Williams has been a major part of their squad and has been involved in every game that he has been involved in so far and has started the last few as well. So any chance of a potential loan move there look very unlikely now, but there is still some interest in the player there. It does kind of give the indication that Charlie Creswell could be on his way out if Leeds are looking at strengthening there. Also the possibility of the injury to Pascal Stroke being slightly worse than it is Leeds wanting slightly more cover there as well. We don't know what situation with Luke Ayling is yet as well. So defensive changes all around there. The second one to talk about and moving on, this one is slightly more concrete as well, is that Leeds apparently, according to Alex Crook, Alex Crook at TalkSport, Leeds have an interest in Bournemouth centre-back Chris Meffham. Uh, Meffham is a, a player that Leeds are said to be very, very interested in bringing in on and could be available on loan having not played a huge amount of games under Andrea Iriola at Bournemouth at the moment 
this would, you would have to imagine, signal the exit of, of Charlie Creswell if they were to bring in another centre-back, despite the fact there could be a more serious injury to Pascal Stroke. If that isn't the case, why would Leeds be bringing in a centre-back? There's two mentioned there, and there's usually no smoke without fire. Phil did say in his piece that it is very, very, very quiet around Leeds in terms of transfers. However, Alex Crook says that he has been told that Leeds will be active in January and that there is activity planned by Leeds. It's a tricky one. It's not an area Leeds need a huge amount of cover in right now, given how Leeds played and what Daniel Farka has said about not needing in centre backs on the bench because of against certain teams, because Leeds are going to be mostly in dominant in possession and attacking, and you'll want more attacking options off the bench. It seems unusual that Leeds will be looking to bring in an additional centre back unless unless somebody was leaving or somebody was injured. Uh, that's the main stories there in terms of transfer stuff out of the way and then the final piece just to finish up on today there's not a huge amount going around is Rodrigo Moreno has finally opened up on his exit from Leeds United hasn't talked about Leeds funnily enough in a huge amount of detail but has talked about the circumstances around the move he left with a clause in his contract that stated he could leave for I think upwards of uh, like below two and a half million euro um, which is a clause put in by Victor Orta during his time there the player has gone off to Qatar to play he hasn't played a huge million I think he's playing for Al Rayyan um, who are in the second tier I believe in Qatar and he isn't playing has played fantastically well for them but isn't playing at the top level over there, it has to be said. Uh, he has talked about his exit. He did score 13 goals for Leeds last season in the Premier League and was Leeds United's top goal scorer on a personal level. He's talked about his season as well. Uh, the 32-year-old did follow a host of players leaving England to head over towards the Middle East for the bigger paydays and a chance to wrap up their careers, in some people's case, to a nice payday. Others, slightly different. But uh, what he, Rodrigo has said on his exit is the following. Well, it's been a very personal matter. The possibility arose and there were the circumstances that leads. On a personal level, I can say that it was a positive season. I even managed to finish with the Nation League title with Spain. Rodrigo went on to say, but football and life are circumstances. There are moments, there are opportunities, there are decisions. I consider, I considered that, given the circumstances I found myself in, this was the best option for me to take. Uh, he's also spoke about his time at the Middle East, which seems to go into an advertising about why you should go there, basically saying that he was surprised uh, positively by things in Qatar and that if any player was looking for a change, that they, he would recommend Qatar as an option. So it seems to be a couple of the bigger players are coming out as maybe uh, sounding boards now for a January window to bring more players across to the Middle East, as a lot of players seem to be leaving the Middle East and heading back across to the to the UK. Um, also, just it's not a story, but just a slight piece of information. Jed Spence is long cancelled by Leeds, headed back to Spurs, was put up for sale immediately. It now looks like he's going to be used as part of a deal to bring a centre back in, and Jed Spence will be heading on loan to Genoa in Italy for the remainder of this season. So that's going to be it for me, folks. Massive thanks, as always, for supporting and watching the videos. I will see you tomorrow for more Leeds news. Have a great day. See you. Bye.